Good, good. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Express it. Um, I'm trying to think. Recently, I don't think so. Recently, there's the movie I've, I've been meaning to see for such a long time, um, which I think I'm pretty sure is French. Is the um, the Prophet? Yeah, it's that's French. French movie. Yeah, yeah exactly. and I still haven't seen that movie, and that's that's definitely like top of my French movie list. Do you know any words in French, by the way? Oh, un petit peu. I'm, you know, in school in England, and French is probably the one that I know the most words in <laughs> language. I know like French, German, Spanish. I left school at 18 and went to study at drama school in London for three years at a place called the Central School of Speech and Drama, which is now called the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. And some of my contemporaries around me, so Andrew Garfield left um, just the year before me, Kit Harrington was two years below me. Like At the time that I came out, there was a lot of cool, exciting people coming out of there. It's a weird thing though, because you, you study for three years and you leave and there's like 35 of you that leave, and I left. 13 years ago now, and I could probably count on one hand how many of us are still acting. Because it's tough, and uh, you have to stick at it and uh, keep going. And I don't begrudge anyone who hasn't, because it's, it's hard. And I'm, I'm about to turn 36 next week, and it's you only... No, I know, I know. <laughs> but it's only really in the last few years that I have reached a level of success that means that I feel like I can relax a little bit now. I, it's always drive, drive, drive until you know you get to a point where okay, I feel like I've established myself. But it takes time. You worked uh, fast enough. You worked. You, you worked. All I, yeah, I worked straight, straight from when I left. I averaged about two jobs a year, but two jobs in one year could add up to five weeks of filming out of 52 weeks out of the year. You know, yeah, that, what do you do in in the spare time? You know, and in England you tend to go to the pub, which is not good. <laughs> Recently I've been kind of rediscovering that because I have been driving forward for so long and, and on the show we work eight months out of the year so outside of that I just want to relax and not do much. And so I'm kind of getting back into it and actually I have a whole list of movies like The Prophet and all these things that I, I really need to catch up on over the last five years or so. My mother is a member of uh, BAFTA um, and so she gets all of the screeners so at Christmas she always watches all of the, the movies from the year so I'm looking forward to getting back to England now and, and watching all the movies that are in contention for uh, awards this year. And my fiance has a music project which I've been taking part in as well and just stretching myself a little bit more creatively and, and looking back at theatre as well now and seeing if there's some theatre I can get involved in. I knew of it because um, Andrew Lincoln, uh, who played Rick, uh, was from my hometown. So I've known him for a long, long time. So I was aware of it and I'd watched the pilot um, because of that. But then I hadn't watched it since. Because we don't, in, in England, oh, actually, I live in America. <laughs> but, uh, but I didn't, um, no, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch that much TV. But I was aware of it and then when the audition came through, it was just a quick two days, like I put it on tape and two days later I um, got the job and it was it was a weird point in my life where I was kind of unsure of which direction to go in and, and when that job came along I didn't see it as, oh this is a big thing and it was just, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put myself on tape for that and then it changed my whole life. <laughs> I had no idea. The first time when I realized was the premiere for season six was at Madison Square Garden in New York. And I took my now fiance and I was sat there, we sat there in the audience just with these thousands of screaming fans and everyone up on stage. And I honestly got really nervous and was like, oh my God, I, what, I, it's too late now. Like I'm in this, I've filmed it and, and things are gonna change and I'm going to lose something that I won't be able to get back. Like my anonymity and stuff, and which is, you know, what everyone, if you want to have success, then that's gonna happen. But it's a weird moment to be there and think, wow, I'm about to, about to step over into this part of life. But it was a, it's been actually a gradual process and the fans of the show are so awesome. You're surrounded by everyone else who's in the same position. And it's been a, it's been a great experience. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, once in a lifetime, like unless you're part of The Walking Dead or the Marvel Universe or something along those lines, like Lord of the Rings, you don't experience this kind of uh, worldwide um, fame. Yeah, yeah, 
step into a bunch of Comic Cons. But it's, I said to Andy when, we, when I first started, I was like, is there anywhere in the world that you can go where you're not recognized? And he said no. And I was like, oh, really? And then, yeah, I've been to Paris, I've been to Japan, I've been to Germany, I've been like all these, Australia, all these places around the world and get recognized absolutely everywhere now. So it, it's a weird thing. But you know, I could shave my head. Well, you just, you're used to it, but everyone is really nice generally. Like I'm lucky, like um, Seth's character, Gabriel has done some stuff which people didn't like and he has had like some sort of abuse in the street and I've been very lucky that my character is well liked and I get a good response, which is really nice. Well, it's, it's annoying because the ones, the first two that jump to mind are by the same director. No, <laughs> so, no well, I like Seven. I just love that. I love how bleak it is, and I love how it has the, the, one of the best endings in, in all cinema. I think. Um, be prepared for a long fight. <laughs> À Paris, Lyon, Marseille, Lille, Bordeaux et partout dans le monde. Écoute VL sur vl-media.fr et sur ton app.